One very helpful feature that Xcode has is Xcode Code Snippets library, and it's located right next to the Objects library button, which we know because we de design user interfaces a lot and we use Objects library like buttons and table views. So uh, on the left, we have a Code Snippets library. It's a two curly brackets. And if we click on it, we get a list of different code snippets that are predefined and ready to use for us. And we can filter them by a keyword, for example, Swift, and now we have a list of all code snippets that are related to Swift. And if I needed a switch statement, for example, I can click on the uh, code snippet, drag and drop it into my code and then edit it, make it work the way I need it. And once I'm done, I can select my code and then go to editor, structure and re-intend it so that it looks nice. Uh, and that was a switch statement. And if I needed a different one, for example, instead of switch, I could, I could use while statement, click, drag on it, and here we go. And you get the idea. As I work on my different projects, I try to take note of code examples that I use very often. And I have been sharing them with you through my Swift developer blog. Uh, Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus account. And if you go to my Swift developer blog and then code examples, I have many of them organized for you. You can uh, copy and uh, paste them into your Xcode uh, code snippets library. I'll show you uh, in a few seconds how to create one and then use because it uh, greatly uh, speeds up development time and it's very handy to have some of the code snippets um, available. So how do you create one? Uh, let's uh, go, for example, to my Swift developer blog and say we will look for a code snippet that determines uh, screen size. So we need to determine uh, screen bounds and so we can read height and width of the window. I will uh, copy this code snippet by clicking on this button, copy it and then go back to my Xcode and paste it here. OK, so let's say we needed to add this code snippet to our Xcode code snippets library. So all we do is select the code that we need to add, click, drag on it and drop it into the uh, library. And then because there are many of them, there will be the ones that are predefined. There will be the ones that you create and the new ones will be available when you type my. So that will be my code snippet by default. This is the one we have just created. And if you double click on it, it will open the edit window, a preview window, I should have said. And then it has edit button. So you can click on this edit button and you can change the name of it. I usually type my name so that I know this code snippet was created by me and then my name and then I'll, I'll do test because I most probably already have this screen bounds uh, code snippet and then fill in this uh, short form which is nice to have for example I most of the time leave summary empty but I uh, do completion shortcut I will show you how to use completion uh, shortcuts and uh, scope in a few seconds so for example I could do a circuit test and then completion scope let's do uh, top level and then click done and then we have here Sergey test and uh, let's say we delete this and we have a new project and then we wanted to add our code snippet so I would look for a code snippet that I have created so there are a few ones that have Sergey and this is the test one we have just created so to add a new code snippet I'll simply click, click on it, drag, drop, and paste it into my code. And I can edit it. And here we go. Very convenient. And there are a couple of tips I'd like to share with you on how to work with code snippets. And the first one is completion shortcuts. So we have this a code snippet. And if I double click on it and click on edit button, I have this edit form. So the completion shortcut currently is Sergey test. I'll leave it as is. And then the completion scope is top level. So let's see how this will work. I'll hit done button. So now if I go uh, to the uh, top level of my uh, Swift file, I can start typing Sergey and then I'll uh, have a list of all code snippets that uh, begin with this prefix. So and then if I select Sergey, 
Xcode will take my code snippet and it will uh, replace Sergey with this code snippet. It's very, very convenient. And uh, it happens on the top level. So it's very convenient uh, for uh, imports. For example, if you have a long list of imports, you can add them as a code snippet and then use it. But if I go into a function, for example, so if I delete this and then if I go to a function, I start typing Sergey, I will not see that test code snippet anymore because the scope for that code snippet is different. So now let's change it. Let's um, go to um, our code snippets, double click on it, hit enter, and then change completion scope from top level to code expression, for example, and hit done. So now if I go to a top level of my Swift file and then start typing Sergey, I will not see the test code snippet anymore. But if I go to a function level and then start typing Sergey, here it is. So um, this scopes a very convenient way to organize your code snippets so that you can find them uh, even easier. And another tip I would like to share with you now is uh, very helpful when you need your code snippet uh, required for editing. For example, you have this code snippet and you want to make sure you edit it before your Swift file can be compiled. So, um, and to make this code required to be edited, I will uh, type tags, like for example, less than, and then number sign, and then I can type some uh, hint here, like for example, your uh, code here, and then again, number sign and greater than sign. So now if I um, hit done, and then drag and drop this code snippet into my code, you'll see that your code here is highlighted and I am required to edit this uh, for my um, Swift file to be compiled. So this is very handy. Uh, you can use in your code snippet uh, as uh, some memos to yourself so that you don't forget to change this or add some of the additional code for, for that code snippet. So this is it. I hope this video was very helpful to you. I publish videos like this almost every week and I publish new code examples almost every day. And then I tweet about them on um, Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus. I will leave um, links to my Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook in the description to this video. Let's stay in touch for new videos. Please subscribe to my blog and I will uh, notify you as soon as new video comes up. And also check out this uh, three video courses on mobile app development with a Swift programming language. I hope you will find them very interesting.